The following is a list of fictional Star Wars terrestrial vehicles, including armored fighting vehicles, military aircraft, and naval ships. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Armored Assault Tank (AAT). The AAT is a Trade Federation vehicle that appears in Star Wars, Episode I, The Phantom Menace, Star Wars, Episode III, Revenge of the Sith, The Star Wars Expanded Universe, and The Clone Wars. Early drafts of The Phantom Menace described the Trade Federation's invasion of Naboo being led by armored attack craft that resembled helicopters. The final version's forward curve is based on the curve of a shovel, and parts of it are intended to suggest animalistic traits. LEGO released an AAT model in 2001. Topic: Atat. Topic: At Saint. Topic Bark Speeder. The Bark Speeder appears in Revenge of the Sith and is a playable vehicle in Star Wars Battlefront, Battlefront 2, and Star Wars Galaxies. They perform cavalry, scouting, and mounted infantry roles and are armed with a single, or sometimes two, blasters. Inexpensive, lightweight, easy to maintain and able to fill various functions, they are a widespread mainstay of many armed organizations, governments and major armed forces. Topic Bongo The Gungan Bongo submarine is a transport in The Phantom Menace. Obi-Wan Kenobi Ewan McGregor, Ki-Gon Jinn Liam Neeson, and Jar Jar Binks Ahmed Best use a bongo to travel from the underwater city of Otagunga to the Naboo capital of Thede. Industrial Light and Magic's Doug Chang devised the submarine squid-like propeller design. This assembly was then merged with the design for a manta-shaped underwater transport written out of an earlier draft of the story. This design replaced earlier concepts that depicted the Gungan vessel as an organic-looking diving bell. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Clone Turbo Tank. The Turbo Tank is a ten-wheeled battle tank and armored personnel carrier that appears in Revenge of the Sith and is based on designs done by Joe Johnston for use in The Empire Strikes Back. West End Games based the HAVWA-5 Juggernaut design on Johnson's sketches. The larger, more heavily armed vehicle that appears in Revenge of the Sith is labeled HAVWA-6. Topic: Cloud car. Cloud cars fly around Bespin's Cloud City in The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Compositing the cloud cars into the original releases required multiple motion control passes to prevent the vehicles from standing out too distinctly from their cloudy background. Cloud cars were designed to have two cockpits that were interconnected with a small compartment block. It was often a red-orange color with each cockpit arranged in a shoe shape, with the glass being on the tongue of the cockpit. Cloud cars inserted into the film's special edition releases were computer-generated. <laughs> Corporate Alliance Tank Droid Corporate Alliance tank droids appear in Revenge of the Sith and are playable vehicles in Battlefront 2. This snail droid was originally designed for Star Wars, Episode 2, Attack of the Clones for the climatic battle of Geonosis, but they did not make it into the final cut of the film. They are a large, amphibious heavily armored droid, mainly used for amphibious assaults, troop transport, and as a main battle tank on worlds with rough terrain. They can be fitted with nearly any type of armament from heavy laser cannons, to blaster cannons, and even guided missiles to perform almost any combat function. When given voice modulators, they are put to use policing potentially rebellious worlds owned by the Corporate Alliance as well as to crush civilian insurrections. <laughs> <laughs> T-1000 
Topic: <laughs> Droid gunship. Droid gunships appear at the Battle of Kashyyyk in Revenge of the Sith and Star Wars Battlefront 2. Their circular shape is designed to be reminiscent of the Trade Federation ships seen in The Phantom Menace. These ships were originally intended to appear in the movie's opening space battle, but were ultimately depicted as aircraft. <laughs> <laughs> Dwarf Spider Droid The Confederacy of Independent Systems uses dwarf spider droids in attack of the clones. These spider droids were designed to provide more agile artillery in the battlefield. Like the larger Confederate spider droid it has four legs, but this droid seems to have two optical receptors. Both the eyes and the main turret are red and glowing with the laser pulses that go through them. Hasbro released a spider droid figure in 2003. Topic: Flash Speeder. The Naboo Royal Security Forces use Flash Speeders in the Phantom Menace. Topic: Gian Speeder. The Naboo Royal Security Forces use Gian Speeders in the Phantom Menace. They are larger, heavier counterparts to the NRSF flash speeders, and are used mainly for skirmishes against pirates and smugglers. However, they are still modified civilian landspeeders, and prove relatively useless against Trade Federation tanks. They are painted purple, carry one medium blaster cannon, and have seating for four NRSF officers. They also have light armor plating for protection against handheld blasters, but there is little protection for the vehicle's occupants. Topic: <laughs> Hailfire Droid. Hailfire Droids are mobile missile platforms that appear in Attack of the Clones. They consisted of two large wheels with a low fixed base that had two glowing red optical receptors and two large missile boxes to store its large arsenal of heat-seeking missiles, which glowed purple as they traveled through the air. It was large and towered over many infantry units in battle. Its main chassis was rounded and brown, while the wheels had ridges and were a gray shade. Homing Spider Droid The OG-9 Homing Spider Droid appears in Attack of the Clones and is a playable vehicle in Battlefront 2. During post-production, the droid was referred to as Commerce Guild Droid B. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Landspeeder Landspeeders are anti-gravity vehicles that appear throughout the films and expanded universe in both civilian and military roles. They appear in Star Wars, Episode IV, A New Hope. <laughs> Multi-troop transport MTT. MTTs carry and deploy Trade Federation battle droids on Naboo in The Phantom Menace. As with the AAT, parts of the MTT are intended to suggest animalistic traits. Lucas requested the MTT have locomotive-type qualities and be capable of knocking down everything in its path, consequently, the MTT has battering rams and locomotive components. Topic: Podracer. Podracers are high-speed one-man race craft. Anakin Skywalker, Jake Lloyd, enters and wins a podrace in the Phantom Menace. It consists of forward turbines attached loosely to the cockpit by a series of cables, with the turbines attached to each other by an ion beam. It was frequently gambled upon and was considered by many, including Ki Gon Jinn, to be a dangerous sport. The video games Star Wars Episode I, Racer, Star Wars, Racer Arcade and Star Wars Racer Revenge are based on the Phantom Menace's podracing scenes. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Republic assault gunboat. The Republic assault gunboat appears in Revenge of the Sith. The vehicle went through several changes over the course of its development. It was originally a Confederacy capital ship, then became the Good Guy A support ship for the Republic. It became a Confederacy ship once more before being scaled down, turned into a speeder, and becoming a Republic craft. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Republic attack gunship. The Low Altitude Assault Transports LAATs are Galactic Republic Airborne Attack Transport and Multirole Ground Attack Gunships that appears in Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, Star Wars, The Clone Wars, Star Wars, Battlefront, and Star Wars, Republic Commando, ferrying clone troopers, Jedi, and military hardware during battle. The expanded universe describes the LART as a versatile multi-role aerospace crafts capable of reconfigured for the gunship, transport, starfighter, and bomber combat roles. There are numerous LART variants, the LART, I infantry transport, the LART, C cargo carrier, the LART, S stealth special forces, the LART, La law enforcement for military police, and LART, V vehicle tactical airlift that carried at TES. Lucas turned to footage of helicopter troop deployment when conceiving the LART. The vehicle was originally labeled the Jedi Attack Helicopter. The vehicle's ultimate appearance is based on the Russian Mil Mi 24 helicopter. The craft's engine sounds are the modified sound of a Vickers Vimy, a World War I bomber. Both Hasbro and Lego released LART models in 2002. Lego released another LART in 2008. Code 3 Collectibles released a die-cast gunship two years later. <inaudible> <inaudible> sail barge A sail barge delivers Jabba the Hutt and his entourage to the Sarlacc pit in Return of the Jedi. Illustrator Ralph McQuarrie designed the ship to appear more utilitarian in comparison to early designs, which made the ship reminiscent of a Baroque sea craft. A 30,000 square foot, 2,800 square meters, 60 foot, 18 meters tall full-scale sail barge set was erected in Yuma, Arizona. It was one of the largest Star Wars sets created. Topic: <laughs> Sandcrawler. C-3PO Anthony Daniels and R2-D2 Kenny Baker are briefly held in a Jawa sandcrawler in Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope. Shots of the sandcrawler at a distance were actually a map painting, only two of its treads and a 27-meter long piece of its lower structure were actually built. For shots involving the vehicle's movement, ILM used a 125-centimeter radio-controlled model. A computer-generated sandcrawler briefly appears in The Phantom Menace, and a sandcrawler also appears in Attack of the Clones. Sandcrawler-related merchandise include a Lego model, card game items, and Hasbro and Micro Machines toys. <laughs> Self-propelled heavy artillery SPHA. Self-propelled heavy artillery first appear in Attack of the Clones. The vehicle was initially designed on treads, but Lucas suggested that it be equipped with legs like the ATS that fight alongside it. The SPHA was referred to as Clone Tanker during production. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Single Trooper Aerial Platform STAP. STAPs, which appear in The Phantom Menace, are designed to appear reminiscent of the speeder bikes seen in Return of the Jedi. The STAPs design also relates back to Lucas 1973 idea of rideable jet sticks. A draft of The Phantom Menace refers to the vehicles as STAPs, or single troop armed pogo sticks. They were brown with one vertical stem and a horizontal foot stand and a higher horizontal handlebar. It had two twin engines directly underneath the handlebars with one on either side of the vertical stem. The STAPs allowed single droids to travel ahead and scout out the battlefield. Topic: 
Topic: Skiff. A pair of skiffs travel with Jabba's sail barge in Return of the Jedi. The skiff was originally conceived as a flying animal carrying strapped on passenger modules. It was modified to be a nautical type vehicle, and then transitioned to become more utilitarian. A full size skiff was built alongside the sail barge in Yuma. An 81 cm miniature was also built, and it was crewed by posable puppets. <laughs> Skyhopper An Incom Corporation T-16 Skyhopper appears in the background of the Lars residence in A New Hope, and Luke Skywalker Mark Hamill races a Skyhopper in National Public Radio's radio adaptation of that movie. A Skyhopper also appears at the end of the special edition release of Return of the Jedi. The Skyhopper model that Skywalker handles in A New Hope is the concept model Colin Cantwell built. Budget limitations allowed only a partial full size mock up of the craft to be built. In Star Wars, Rebel Assault, Skyhoppers are used by Rebel pilots to train in Tatooine's Beggar's Canyon. T 47 Airspeeder A T-47 airspeeder, better known as Snowspeeder, is a Rebel Alliance vehicle featured in The Empire Strikes Back 1980 and several books, comics, and video games in the Star Wars Expanded Universe and also in Atari game cartridges in the 80s. Snowspeeder models and replicas have been merchandised by several companies. Topic: <laughs> Origin and Design During production of The Empire Strikes Back, designer Joe Johnston conceived a ship that combined the body of an X-Wing and the cockpit of the Y-Wing. However, this design was scrapped for the T-47, which featured no elements from previous craft. Johnston's designs for the Snowspeeders have influenced later Star Wars designers, such as Tommy Lee Edwards. The models were built in three different scales by Steve Gawley, Charlie Bailey, and Mike Fulmer of ILM, with the smallest 20 inches used for motion control photography, and the largest 2 and a half feet for hero and pyrotechnic shots. All models included motor-controlled flaps to imply maneuverability, and the largest version also possessed motor-articulated crew. Several full-scale props were built in London for the hangar, cockpit, and speeder crash scenes. In the 2015 film Star Wars: The Force Awakens, the First Order uses the light infantry utility vehicle, also known as LIUV or First Order Snowspeeder. A landspeeder-like speeder designed for troop transport on the icy Starkiller base. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Depiction. In The Empire Strikes Back: Rogue Group, led by Commander Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill pilots snowspeeders against Imperial at at Walkers during the Battle of Hoth. When their blasters prove ineffective, the rebel pilots turn to tripping the walkers with the snowspeeders' harpoons and tow cables. The snowspeeders used on Hoth are modified in Com T 47 airspeeders initially used for civilians, they are modified to survive the hostile environment of the ice planet Hoth. Expanded Universe material states that the Y wing cockpit and other features were donated to the airspeeders. The two-man craft has an advanced power system and repulsor lift to compensate for additional armaments and armor, affording them a top speed of 1,000 km per hour and combat speed of 600 km per hour. The playable snowspeeder in Star Wars, Battlefront II is armed with concussion missiles and small tow cable launcher. Merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> Kenner released a toy snowspeeder in 1980. Kenner re-released an updated version utilizing the same mold in 1995 for their new Power of the Force line. After Hasbro shut down the Kenner offices in 1999, it was released several times under Hasbro's brand name, in 2001 as a Walmart exclusive in the Power of the Jedi collection, in 2006 as a Target exclusive in the Saga collection. 
line, and three versions of it in the 2010 The Vintage Collection, including a Target exclusive packaged as the original 1980 Kenner version. Lego has also sold Snowspeeder models, and Snowspeeder models used in the Empire Strikes Back have been sold online. Hasbro's Star Wars Transformers line included a Snowspeeder that transformed into Luke Skywalker. In 2009, Japanese model manufacturer Fine Molds released a 148th scale kit of the Snowspeeder. Topic: <speeder>, Speeder bike. Speeder bikes first appear in a chase scene in Return of the Jedi and later in the prequel trilogy. Topic: Swamp Speeder. Swamp Speeders appear in Revenge of the Sith. TJ Frame, who worked on the Swamp Speeder concept soon after joining the art department, initially designed the craft to be appear reminiscent of fanboats. Topic: Swoop Bike. Swoop bikes are high-speed racing craft that appear in the films and expanded universe. Topic: <inaudible> Swoop Racer. The Swoop Racer is similar to the Swoop bike, however, it was specifically designed for racing with. During a Swoop race, the racers do not race together on the same track, but separately. Each racer gets timed individually and the times are compared after the event to determine the winner. The fastest time is the winner. The first appearance of the Swoop Racer was in the 2003 video game Star Wars – Knights of the Old Republic. <laughs> V-Wing Airspeeder An airspeeder that first saw service with the New Republic at the Battle of Mon Calamari. Topic: <laughs> Walkers. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Wheel bike. General Grievous rides a wheel bike in Revenge of the Sith. Grievous vehicle is similar to another wheel bike that appears in the Star Wars Droids cartoon. One concept for Grievous vehicle was for it to include tank like chariots. At another point, the vehicle was going to be another droid. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Wookiee flying catamaran. Wookiee flying catamarans appear in Revenge of the Sith. They were originally conceived as strictly water vehicles. The addition of a rotor came late in production. Some printed works do not depict this component. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Wookiee ornithopter. Wookiee ornithopters appear in Revenge of the Sith. The craft was originally known as the Dragonfly helicopter. Although mostly depicted through computer generated imagery, a full size mock up of the gunner's seat was created for a close up of the tail gunner. <laughs> <laughs> World Devastator World Devastators appear in the Dark Empire comic series and the Star Wars Rogue Squadron video game. <laughs> 